uh, I think three or four weeks ago, I was done in San Francisco. And I was invited to speak there by Kaiser Permanente, which is a large healthcare provider. It's a large healthcare corporation, I guess. There are a group of studies called the Adverse Childhood Experiences Studies that were done by Kaiser Permanente or in Kaiser Permanente system in California that have shown that for each experience of childhood adversity, physical, sexual, or emotional abuse, uh, death of a parent, a divorce, um, a child uh, or a parent being mentally ill or addicted or violence in a family or a parent being jailed, for each of these adverse childhood experiences, the risk of addiction goes up exponentially. Mm -hmm. So they multiply each other. And they rarely come in singles. You know. Not only does the risk of addiction goes up exponentially, but the risk of rheumatoid arthritis goes up, the risk of cancer goes up, the risk of mental illness goes up. I mean, everything, everything bad. Because the immune system gets attacked too. Well, it's among the immune system amongst, amongst other systems. Right. But here's the deal. So I'm going to go and speak to 200 addiction clinicians in the Kaiser Permanente system. These studies, that is Shazer studies, have been published worldwide in major journals, major journals, and there's an increasing movement around them. In fact, if you don't know about them, you can look them up online, the ACE, Adverse Charge Experience, Experience Studies, and there's even a, a daily online ACE journal that you can get these days. Well, got the picture? Adverse Experience Studies, significant data to show the relationship between childhood adversity and adult addiction and adult dysfunction in general done in California in the Kaiser Permanente system. So the organizers, a couple of months before the event where I was going to speak to their clinicians, they asked me, is there some literature you could send us that would support your point of view? <laughs> I said, yes, surely you've heard about the adverse childhood experience studies. <laughs> no, what are those? Oh. And it's entirely possible for somebody to go to addiction doctors for years and nobody ever asks them what you asked, which is, tell me about your childhood. That question doesn't come up. Yeah. Now, that question ought to come up whether you got psoriasis, rheumatoid arthritis, or addiction. That's another story. But with addiction and that clear evidence, you know, and, and, and the evidence between the showing the impact on brain development of the early uh, relationships, so that the question of childhood never comes up in addiction clinics over and over and over again, and it's just all about the behaviors. Yeah. And they keep repeating the mantra, another article in the New York Times this week, addiction is a brain disease, addiction is a biological brain disease, addiction is a biological brain disease. They've got themselves mesmerized, uh, hypnotized by their... Um, very narrow, and what that actually is, it's a self-soothing, the very belief that it's a biological brain disease is a self-soothing behavior. <laughs> there you go. Because it allows us as a society not to look at the pain and the trauma that are experienced by so many people, and it allows the doctors themselves not to look at their own stuff. But, it's, but you know, unfortunately, uh, it also means that we're limited in what we can do for people.